Okay, guys, here we go. This is from the one loss side, Amar Kang versus Jaynard Orke. And Jaynard was just defeated by uh, Vilmos Foldish. Um, final score of six to three. And it looks like Amar is gonna get the break. And this is a race to six, winner break. Jaynard Orke and Amar Kang. So uh, Sean Roy is playing Rodney Wynn on the one loss side as well. So we'll 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 be giving you guys scores when they come in. Amar Kang shooting right now. All right, Amar takes game one. Good break. And one ball available to the side pocket.
Wow, nice solid shot. Great performance from Amar so far. Yeah, definitely making it look easy. Jaynard Orke is yet to draw blood in this match, but uh, he may have his chances. It's a race to six. It's hard, hard to play perfect pool on these uh, gold crown fours. Excellent equipment, but uh, the pockets are not, not the loosest. Not the most generous pockets in town, I tell you. Very tough table. But once again, Amar is making it look pretty easy. Robbie's back. How you doing, Robbie? I'm good. The score between Rodney Wynn and Sean Roy is 1-1. One, one. With Rodney Wynn at the table. I don't think the one goes behind the, the eight. You may try and may play this no ace hole. There's no point in trying to snick it in because, because look where the where the two ball is. If he shoots it in, he can't really hit it hard. He's gonna have to roll it in soft. for the combo. Remember, this is a one loss side match, so the loser of this match will will be eliminated in fifth, sixth place.
just past the six ball along the side rail. on that cue and he, he ended up hitting the nine ball pretty full so he's putting his extension on his cue yeah mark a little looky pushing that nine ball over towards that far so that hindered him from getting down to the three it. Well, that tree ball looks like it's deep in the pocket. third frame in their match. That's two games to one now. Sean in the lead. Next match is going to be hot seat match Vilmosh and Tommy Soria. Mr. the reacher. He's looking at the seven nine combo, but if he's reaching. I think he's got a good line on the shot. He just has to watch the way here. This is what makes nine balls so so difficult and frustrating is that you know you can if you have trouble closing out you can get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, Shane had left himself a little stray on the six. The combo. And, well, on the six, you know, the seven for the combo. If he'd have more of an angle, he could have came back to the table for the seven. So yeah. It wasn't an easy combo.
I think he may take this one while uh, he has to. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if, uh, if Janer's got a shot to the pocket, he's <laughs> pretty much got to go for it, you know. It's not his shot making that is really, it's, it's not his shot making that's questionable right now. It's, it's just his. It's good shape. His willingness to close out, you know. Sean is up 3 1. Sean Roy has gotten in stroke today, huh? Three games to uh, one against Rodney Wynn. Rodney Wynn trying to cling on to his tournament life. I don't know if that combo is on the 6 9. If it's not, he may just come back up and play it back in the same pocket. Yeah, I think he can. I think he can run it out, no problem. He's a miscue. Maybe you should have looked at his cue before he started today. That's the second time, remember? It's a new tip he just brought you today. This nine goes, so he's gonna try and hit rail first and you think kick it in. Yeah, he might scratch in the side if he does that, though. But you gotta be careful, they don't hang it. <coughs> or he may just clip off the six. That was. Well, that's two miscues that Jenner had, so that's got to be in his mind right now. Well, they're and they're pretty big miscues too, you know. Wow, this is. This is no gimme. He's going to have to really stroke this. Seven ball laying down at the end rail over by his cue ball. So after he shoots the six, he's, he's going to need a good cue ball to get shape on the seven. Stroke that ball real nice, but uh, the nine ball prevented him from getting shape. He's gonna clip off the seven real thin. The shots are forward. Is 
up behind the eight. Very nice. That was a good shot. Very nice. Sean Roy is now up four to one on Rodney Wynn. Come in the back of the seven here. Oh wow! Wow! That's a great shot. You could you couldn't have hit that any better. That was one of them risk and reward shots. Well, he hit, he, he hit the right side of the seven perfectly. You know, maybe a little more speed and he would have hooked Jaynard completely, but uh, I'm still, I'm sure he's very happy with the outcome. <laughs> yeah, clip this and bring the way back overward. I remember from our last match with Vilmos, Jaynard was the victor in most of the safety battles. So... Amar Kang as well, very proficient. Amar always plays the right shot, you know. I don't think he's going to try and bank this in the middle because he's, he's going to try and put that white back in behind the line. about this tournament is that if people haven't noticed there's no jump cues so yeah, no jump cues yeah. which I think is good it's very old school you know I think it's appropriate for this this particular tournament you know it's been going 48 year, 48 years The other table, Sean, is up 5-1 now. He's breaking good. Yeah, Sean Roy. He's one of our uh, fiery competitors. He shoots real fast, real, real fast, and he's kind of like a gunslinger, you know. He hits the ball real hard, and, and he breaks with his playing cue.
night. Good shot. Good shot. Four zero over here and uh, five one over there. Sean's putting on a bit of an exhibition. <laughs> what I understand from the reactions people in the chat in the in the audience That's the second dry break in a row. He needs to capitalize on these dry breaks. You know. Who, Jaynard? Yeah. Well. If Amara gets any more chances to break, it means that it's closer to the end of the set, so. That was a good shot. Put me on the five. I think it's going to hinder him from bridging over the tree ball. Sean Roy. Uh, defeats Ronnie Wynn. Final score six one. Yeah, so. he made a he made a nine ball combo. Just came short of the one ball, so that's ball in hand for Jaynard. And as you guys can see, it's a chance for Jaynard to get on the board. I noticed too that Jane is using a different chalk. Is he? He's using different chalk? From the one he was using earlier today, right? He switched chalk. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what chalk he's using. I think he's using that predator job. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, he doesn't want to miss Q again, that's for sure. has an angle here to come back down. Wow. 
why is it the very thing you don't want to do, we do, we, you do? They usually play pay, pay for that diamond below the center of the pocket with that shot. And this is a gift for a bar right here. I think he knew it too when he stroked out four ball. Yeah. That he was going to scratch it. I think that, that had a lot, a lot to do with digging into that ball. Let's see how his break is again here. Now, the last two times he breaks, he came out dry. the five over the pocket it's this is if I'm out of the air I don't see any problems here I think it's he's, he's just gonna spin it right now yeah I think it's all she wrote man this will put uh, this will put Jane Art fifth six right Pleasurable performance. Uh, Jane Ordorka, unfortunately, you know. I think that last match with Vilmos, uh, maybe, I don't think he cleared his head enough after that match. And then there was a, just that miscue in the middle of this match. Really didn't help the situation. And uh, let's not forget, too, a Mark Hang. You know, he's, he's playing very well. Playing well, very well. Yeah, but that was, that was, you know, when he hung that nine ball, that was to go 4 1 up. Then it went, he missed that nine ball, it's 3 2. And then. You mean against uh, Vilmos in the last yeah. match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jaynard really, you know, I mean, he was really, really he was playing in solid, very determined, and then just got, you know, so. Anyway, I, I, not to dwell on the past, but uh, it's possible. Maybe he just didn't clear his head. Uh, and then you got Amar Kang. You got to pl play a guy like Amar, you know, who's just as solid as Vilmos, you know. 
Well, Amar has won his last four or five games, 6-0. Actually, yeah. I don't think he's lost a game in the last three sets. So, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna have our next match. Jay Nordorke gets fifth, sixth with uh, $300. Congratulations. And uh, so does Rodney win, actually. $300 to him for fifth, sixth. Next match coming right up on table 18 will be the hot seat match. Tommy Soria and Vilmos Foldish.